hello guys and welcome back to this video so this is the grand finale of this video and in this one we're gonna go ahead and work with the show movie function so when we click on this play button over here then we can go ahead and redirect to another page where we're gonna play this amazing movie so that's what we're gonna be doing and without wasting more time let's just dive right into building out the functionality so in views.py we still need some like this I'm just gonna copy this and down here I'm gonna paste this in and this should be let's just name it play movie um get rid of that name this play play movie just like that and we need to pass in a try okay yeah sure we need a try so we would get movie just like we did the last one now we would get a particular movie and for this movie we need to get the values of the movie so hopefully you understand so movie now would be equal to movie dot videos dot values so I'm just gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna say movie should be equal to movie dot videos dot values. So we want to get the values that are in a video, and nothing should be in this parentheses. It should be blank like that. So after this, now the next thing we're gonna do is simply return a render show movie, and we're gonna pass in this time around. This is gonna be um not as we usually do it. It's gonna be in a list. So this is going to be movie, but this movie over here, this one should be in a list just like this. Hopefully you understand because a movie might be um, more than one. It, should, it might be a like uh, a seasonal movie and all that. So that's what we did over here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is um, simply return render. This should be, um, let's say, play movie, play movie, play movie that's html we pass in context and we're also going to retain the same thing that says except movie does not exist and all that so after this now the next thing we're going to do is simply create a url for playing the movie so uh let's see if we actually have an argument being passed in sure we have movie id as an argument being passed in over here so for the urls.py it's going to be exactly something like this again but we just need to fix up some things. So this is gonna be watch slash play. Hopefully you understand that we're gonna pass in all this. Okay, or should we just name this movie? Let's just say, okay, let's just leave it as watch so we will be consistent with the naming of the URLs and all that. So we need to make sure that we are importing play movie over there. And we wanna make sure that we'll pass in play movie that has movie. And this one over here needs to be play dash movies so hopefully you understand what we're, what we're doing and if you don't i will still go ahead and explain it but for now let's just keep going and don't worry i'm still gonna explain don't freak out if you don't understand let's just keep building so the next thing i'm gonna do now is create a template for it so you remember the template we named it um we named it play movie.html so right now we're gonna come over here to the template we're gonna right click click on new file and we're gonna say play movie.html. Okay. So so let's try getting um to this place. Let's say watch slash play. Let's see what we've got. Okay, say movie object has no attribute videos. Um let's see why is this error coming up. Now let's get back to the views.py and let's change this to video. And let's refresh okay that's it it's working perfectly well so now we need to get the play movie and fill in the template now head over to net clone and let's come over to show movie i think it should be show movie and we need to copy all this and we need to put it in here in the play movie.html now we need to come over here and refresh and this is what we have so what we need to do next is go ahead and configure all this up. Come over here, copy this, come over to play movie. Then we're going to get rid of the nav from here to here. We get rid of it. Then we're going to copy this. And also from here to here, we'll paste this in. And this should be end block. Hopefully you understand. This should be end block. Okay, so now let's try refreshing this again. What do you notice? Looks way way more better now than before okay so right now we're gonna use a, a little very very little javascript to make this work um we could actually just copy it and paste it but i don't want to do that i'm actually going to type it out and explain what it does so you guys understand um fully what it does and how we go about fixing other functionality 
so firstly what we want to do is in this main over here we want to um, come over here in this main we want to create something like this and we're going to call it movie so we're going to say movie and we need a pipe that's going to get a json script so just like this json script and this json script should go into something that we're going to call movie data okay so just type this out like this i'm still going to explain what we are doing so after this now remember we have this video thing over here we're just going to get rid of whatever that's in the sauce we don't need that and we're going to stick with it just like this so now the next thing we're going to do just below the main is to open up a script tag so we're going to open up a script tag script okay so now now that we've opened up a script i want to define a const and this const is going to go this const is going to go to video l and it's going to get a document dot query selector the videos so it's going to get document dot query selector then it's going to get videos and i think it's it's not videos it's video video over here okay so it's going to be const l um it should be video l rather video l then this should be and this should be documents dot query selector just like this and we're going to pass in video in there so we pass in the video now the next thing we're going to do is um also the final cost and this one is going to be movie data you remember what we have over there at the top movie data and this is going to be json pass so you know json pass i don't really do javascript but i don't know for some reasons it's just not my thing but for the sake of this video um i couldn't actually find a better way to do this um using only Django. maybe there is a way but but i don't know maybe you know that but but i don't know but if you know just drop it in the comment section a better way to do this without javascript i really really love to see that because i love teaching my videos in Django only and not javascript so we are getting elements by id movie data over here so you remembered okay so after that we also need to get the dot text content so um here we need to get the dot text content just like that okay so hopefully you understand what's going on and javascript we need this um column thing over here um semicolon rather it's not column i'm used to python and django okay so the next thing we need to do now is define a const that's going to help us get the url and we need to set this we need to set this to new then url and just like that and we need to pass in a location.href so new url then we're going to pass in location.href i just hope we don't get any errors with all this don't worry i'm still going to explain if you don't understand now second to the last we need to define a const that's um gonna be set to video parameter i think video param just like that and this should get um parse integer like that and in here we're gonna pass in url dot search like this dot no not search yes that's it url params dot get then the next thing we want to pass is epi i think epi that's gonna help us get episodes don't worry there's still a lot that we 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 skipped some things over here and over here i think we are still gonna fix it after we've done this one okay so don't freak out now we get this epi and just at the back of this place we need to pass in a question mark just like that and we need to get parse in parse i hope i'm spelling that right pass in and in this pass in we're gonna get url and i think that should be dot search dot search params okay yeah that's it dot search param should that be params or param okay let's just say set param dot get dot get epi that should be in a string epi and column zero so we are getting the first video there now i don't know this is train and error let's see it says it's exp 
expected dots um let's see that should be video dots param this should be video underscore param rather yeah it's video underscore param not dots that was a mistake so um finally i think we need to just define a video video l dot set attributes dot set attributes then we want to get the source over here this one so we get the source and we want to set some to it so we're gonna set with a back tick http column double slash just like that then we're gonna pass in local host since we're on local host if you are hosting this make sure to pass in the name of the website url local host slash media slash dollar sign coily brackets just like this then what we're gonna pass in there is movie underscore data so we pass in the movie underscore data then open up um a square bracket in the square brackets we're gonna pass in video underscore param then we're gonna get the file so dot file okay so this is what we'll have here now let's see if our terminal is still running or if it's dead because um, I'm sure we should get an error but don't worry we're gonna fix it okay still running that's bad let's come over here and refresh this page and let's come over here to the URL and let's put in play play slash okay say it says this is not found watch okay is there any video links to this one I'm not sure let's refresh this again okay this is not playing now what we need to do is get back okay let's try it on the video let's try this one let's change this to play okay okay this is not playing so what we need to do is firstly get back to the movie detail and we need to configure this play button so after that we're gonna know why the movie isn't playing we're gonna pass the href and in this href it's gonna be a url and what did we call that we called it play movie if i'm not mistaken that's it play movie so um play movie then we need to pass in some arguments in here for example we need to pass in the movie id and set it to movie.uuid so we're gonna say movie underscore id should be equal to movie.uuid okay so now let's get back here let's get back again let's refresh this let's come over here and okay okay this is an error let's see what's causing the error firstly we need to shift this a bit secondly we need to add in the netflix app okay so let's see if this error repeats itself again okay all these are working fine it's just that the video isn't playing so let's go ahead and fix the issue of the video not playing what could that be i hope there is no error over here let's see was aborted by a software in this um let's get back here and let's look at this line by line this 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 okay um this should be video not video so video.l now let's get back here and let's refresh this refresh come over here click on this now let's play um hopefully this is gonna work um that's taking a lot of time let me just close out my server and i'm gonna run it again ctrl c is to break off from the server okay so let me just run the server again okay the server is running now i'm gonna refresh this and let's try playing one of these movies the space jam okay now what do you notice it's playing so we could play this and i think this video has a sound right okay it has no sound so that's it the video is playing perfectly well and i think we achieved what we've been looking for in this video and yeah that's it so let me try playing another video and let's see let's get over to my baby and let's click on this and play let's see okay yeah it's playing perfectly well let's see let's face it. oh my god not okay let me just reduce the volume Okay, as you can see, it's working perfectly well. So 
you go ahead and upload real movies instead of just the dummy ones that I used over here like the placeholder movies you will go ahead and fix up the description at the real movie look out for this movie download the movie um, upload it on your site and all that so um, that should pretty much be it for this video and I think that's it the only thing that I didn't add over here is the payment gateway but if you guys are interested in seeing that you could drop a, a, a comment in the comment section below and definitely I'm gonna do that if if I see a lot of comments about that and you guys give this video up to 10 likes for sure I'm gonna do that so um, that should be it for this video hopefully I'm gonna see you guys in the next videos and if there is anything I'm missing over here do make sure to contact me or rather you could just drop it in the comment section below and I'm gonna add the feature so I'll see you guys in my next video for now mad love peace out